You're back. How did it go? We should travel us no further. Well, that's a bloody relief. So you put down old Garm, did you? Yeah, sort of. Atreus, your decision to go to Asgard after all he's put us through. I'll never understand it. But I hope you at least came back with something we can use. I hope so, too. Come on, let me show you what Odin's up to. Here's what he cares about most. More than Ragnarok or anything is this mask. Anyone recognize it? That thing? Ugh, oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Okay, fine. No. You're wrong, Mimir. This mask is no fraud. The giants didn't make it, and only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their visions. They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Is it an oracle? Much, much more. Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. Yes. This is why Odin tortured me. So what do you think? Know it? No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Is Heimdall our focus or not? We will rewrite our fate another way. Then I'm going back to Vanaheim. If we're not taking the fight to Odin, I should help my brother stand against him. study my notes on the mask, see if I can think of a plan. But if you want to go anywhere, I'm with you. And listen, everyone, I'm really sorry about the way I left. You know I've never hurt any of you on purpose. Well, when you can turn into a bear by accident, I suppose these things can happen. So, do you forgive me? Of course, Atreus. We know you meant no harm, lad. Sindri? I'm sure I will. Eventually. Okay. Guess I'll take it. While we're clearing the air, I hope that I can be forgiven for not doing more when the Hellwalkers attacked. Whatever reservations I have about violence, they shouldn't apply when your home is under attack. And certainly not by undead abominations. Did I reach for a shield instead of a sword? Well said, Tia. I believe you just might. Need something special? Brother, 
Before we check on Freya, is there any unfinished business in other realms you wanted to take care of? I'm sure the lad would love to help. You are well. Take more than a port full of bone jaw and stiffs to keep me down. What am I gonna do? Walk around with a bandage on my head, begging for attention? I was mauled by a bear! Nudge, more like it. Hey, wait. We're with you. You arrived just in time as well. The Hound of Hell is no longer a threat. Indeed. You have proven worthy of great responsibility, Master Kratos. Please forgive me if I've been abrupt or at all impertinent of late. The loss of Madame Neathog weighed heavily upon me, even before the grave uncertainties of this Garm episode. I do sincerely apologize for my rude demeanor during this time. I did not notice. You are being polite, of course. My demeanor was impudent, borderline cruel. Surely this was a source of some discomfort for you. No. My conversational wounds run deep then, and you would hide the scars. I swear, Master Kratos, I will make it up to you someday. Well, good luck out there. Oh, I'm sorry, that's it, yeah. Travel to Vanaheim. Great. You gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So what happened the last time you were in Vanaheim? I still don't know how you got Freya to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freya's camp. You met Freya? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Wow. It's beautiful. And, uh, wet. It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? Freya's camp is to the right. No rush, is that? Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. To Freya's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered. And there is much I owe her. The other half of the broken moose behind seed we found. We can take it to a mystic gateway. Maybe we'll find Sutter's combat trials. No one here. Where is everyone? Stay alert. I don't like this, brother. Kratos, the 
Atreus. A welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. Do you know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man. Or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildas Vini! Remember when we first met Frey in the woods? After I... Oh... I am so... so sorry about that. Freya's boar. Her advisor. And friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Where is Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Bigvir. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. Hey, that happened. An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You'd have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, it's your fellow child. Disappoint. Continue down this path and you'll find their dead. Good luck. And don't shoot any more. <laughs> I think he's really forgiving me for shooting him. Trust me, lad. The old swine still carried a grudge. You'd know it. What happened between you two? The usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not concerned. Just curious. Curiosity's all well and good. Let's huh? Okay, okay. Point taken. <sighs> Welcome in Brian. Look out! Vanaheim looks and feels so different from the other realms. It's warm, like Svartalfheim, but there's a kind of thickness in the air. Hmm. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Greek. For humid. Egros. I like it.
Find the Noki! It's making these things stronger! <laughs> It's gonna blow! No! No! What is your sight? Uh. Ah. You know, lad, this excursion into Vanai means you've now visited each of the Nine Realms. Huh. I guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. Though does Vini said both Frey and Bigvir were captured. Bigvir is the light elf who wanted to learn more about that library in Alfheim, right? Correct. An exiled scholar married to a warrior, Bela. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. Hope he's okay. Make this thing stronger! Behind you, brother! I can sense them up there. It's gotta be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hattie, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. <laughs> At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. Uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves, supremely entertaining as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, guess we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. The Aenor Yar played a part according to Skull and Hati Shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? Bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. But besides Hilda Sveeney and the elves, who else is part of Freyr's army? Not much army, really. Although Beer Girl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. Traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice.
Ain't out of your head. I'm ready. believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. Definitely an ambush. Yes. Wait, there's the moon. Uh, Bob? Down there. Careful, brother. You're covered in black. Hoping that puts a dent in Odin's forces, at least for the time being. 
I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Hey! Hurry! She's getting away! Come on! A double ambush? Okay. I see that coming. No! She's gone again. Hurry, we gotta get across. Job. They are not smart. I understand. You know, what we're doing right now, all of this, it's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hathi Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes. I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? If everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine? Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. Oh! 
cold. Is this? It's from Helheim. Heimdall must have grabbed this while I freed Garm. Ugh. I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. Father, how are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the giant said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. But what if, by doing all this, what if we're walking straight into Ragnarok? Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from... Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. There's nothing. their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Call them anytime we need them. Feels like they want us to use it at one of the altars. <laughs> Perhaps Freya will know. So, in essence, they just gave us the keys of dust till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hildespini and tell them about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the cap. Look out! Yeah, <laughs> 
That wasn't the same one from earlier, was it? No. They come back fast, but not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhar Yar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said? It will not come to that. <laughs> 